I've got with me Jonathan Henry from Garford Farm Machinery. Um, they're here at the show with some pretty fancy weeding equipment and uh, you're going to tell me all about it. Yeah, sure. So at Garford, we're all about uh, precision toolbars and um, being able to precision hoe, which is we do what we do most of the time, but we also have the ability to precision place granular materials or liquids, uh, whether that be you know, nutrients, um, foliants, or, uh, or, or precision placement of, of pesticides. Okay, and, and, and is this a new piece of equipment? Or? No, so we've been in this um, vision-guided precision uh, toolbar business or hoeing business, we've been in that for over 20 years now and um, we continue to develop and uh, uh, add more sophistication to meet uh, customers' needs. And, and you're telling me that you can go as low as 12 millimetres between? Obviously that would not be in a cereal crop, but yeah. yes, in some of the uh, you know, baby leaf uh, salad crops, then we can go down to very, very narrow row spacing. Um, but, um, but actually the most sold hoe that we make for the global market is actually a cereal hoe, hoe um, which would be very typically handling 15 centimeter row spacing. But um, uh, obviously from a mechanical uh, weed control point of view, wider row spacing gives you a wider percentage management from the hoeing system. Um, so therefore the, the trend towards wider spacing um, makes it uh, more applicable to use, uh, and, use hoeing. And, and would that be done with some sort of guided um, driving or so the, our system uh, is using local sensing and yes. it's following the crop rows. Okay. Um, normally today we are on a, a GPS guided yes. tractor, but that's not essential. So as long as the, as the operators, um, you know, able to navigate down the field within the range of the, of the side shift, which on our um, most common sold ones is, is a 500 millimeter um, or a 50 centimeter um, side shift, then that's perfectly good. But mostly now we are on, we are on the back of a GPS guided uh, and, and, and what sort of demand in the UK? So demand in the UK for our products have traditionally been much more in high value crops yeah. but we're seeing especially with herbicide resistance challenges we're seeing more and more uh, UK farmers looking at uh, putting hoeing into the blend uh, with their weed management uh, strategy so so that's that's been a shift and um, um, and also, of course, organic uh, production, but the UK organic production is still growing and it's still at a relatively small place relative to other countries. So you're looking forward to the show? Absolutely. We always look forward to the cereal show. It's, uh, well, and this year I think it's going to be really special just looking at the location it's here. Isn't it? yes. the, you know, it's, uh, I just said it's more like a, a site for a golf course than, yes. uh, than, yeah. A, yeah. than, a, than a premier um, ag production system focus um, event, but um, it'll be tremendous. And also the, you know, the access to the A1 will be tre tremendous improvement as well. So Jonathan, thank you very much. Thank you.